Right, my personal favorite man to man um, defense. So, um, this is all about position and uh, pressure on the ball. So, if you are defending the ball, you need to give pressure, meaning you are as close as you can be without giving up um, a layup, um, and your hands are high and they're, they're active. Not reaching, but they are active. Um, if you are one pass away, which this guy is, you are in the passing lane, which means you are a step towards the ball and your foot and your hand is in the passing lane. And your head is facing, you're looking that way down the court so you can see both your man and the ball. So moving like that, something like that. Okay. If he keeps going like this, then you can just let him go. Okay. Because if that pass goes, you might be able to pick it off or if it goes, it's going to be going over your head so much that you'll be able to close it under control and then you're defending. Okay. Okay, so essentially if you're one pass away, you're up the line and in the line, I call it. So up the line mean up the passing line, one step, and in it so that the pass cannot be given directly to this guy. This guy is in bad position. Okay, number five is in bad position. Um, our posts need to be half and half. Okay, so kind of hard to do because you don't have arms and fundamental numbers here. But essentially, you are right beside your man um, so that your chest is facing his shoulder and you have your arm draped across the front of him and uh, you're defending. Occasionally, we're going to go to a straight front, which means this is a very good post player that we don't want to allow get the ball. Um, and then if they lob it, we'll rely on help from the other side. But right now, we haven't met anyone like that, so we're just going to go half and half on everything. Um, and uh, number four here, he's in pretty good position because he can be a little bit more like cutting the floor in half. Okay, so when the ball goes all the way to the corner, this is when we get into some more aggressive help. Okay, so we can really leave these guys out of here. And on any help or any penetration that three can't really keep up with, we try and help so that we're actually going to get him before he even gets in the key. And what happens on a help normally is you end up having a double team because when you get beat you don't say oh and you stop okay when you get beat you run beside him so that when someone comes up in front of him he stops going he stops this motion and then you then come and, and stop from uh, the side so help ends up being a double team and then when the pass comes out of there um, we can rotate we can talk about that later essentially aggressive help that's about it um, and the other thing is, if you can direct um, where your guy goes with the ball. So very often, like when we played, uh, how was that team? Mont Bleu. Um, there was the tall, skinny kid that scored about a thousand points on us because he was able to do his bread and butter move, which is go right, go right, go right, go right, go right, and then do something off of his right hand. If you recognize that early enough in the game that you can force people to a weak hand of which they have zero confidence in, then you're going to be able to um, look like a champ. You're going to be able to get, make them do things that they're not comfortable doing, turn the ball over instead of giving up layups. So forcing left is simply getting up on this side a little bit. You're not giving left, you're forcing left. So that when he goes to his right hand, you are there and he's going through your chest. And if he goes to his left hand, you're not quite there, but you're able to recover fast enough. That's man-to-man, -man, half court.